I'm going to talk about Tesla's Model 3 and whether Tesla will get the production back on track in 2018. Elon Musk's master plan of bringing an affordable mass-produced electric car to the public took a big step forward on July 28 when the first 30 Model 3s, M3 for short, came off the assembly line. Tesla's initial plan was to produce 1,500 M3s in the third quarter of 2017, but due to bottlenecks in production, only 260 were produced. What caused the delay and will Tesla get the M3 production back on track in 2018? Let's find out. Welcome to Neoscribe. If you're new to my channel, I explore everything cool about the future, so hit the subscribe button and notification bell so you don't miss out. All right, the M3 was unveiled in March 2016 with the 258 horsepower electric motor. The long range battery model is capable of accelerating from zero to 60 miles per hour or zero to 96 kilometers per hour in 5.1 seconds and has a top speed of 140 miles per hour or 225 kilometers per hour. Also, the long range battery model will have an estimated 310 mile or 498 kilometer range with a supercharge rate of 170 miles or 273 kilometers in 30 minutes or it has a home charge rate of 37 miles or 59 kilometers per hour. The awesome feature in my opinion is a $5,000 enhanced autopilot option which allows the car to automatically match the speed of traffic. It will keep you in the lane. It can automatically change lanes. It can transition from one freeway to another and it can also exit the freeway and self park at your destination. On top of that, once the advancements are complete and regulations are established, the car will have a full self-driving capability. I can't wait until self-driving cars become reality. And so by August 2017, over 455,000 reservations have been made for the M3, and that represents around $16 billion in sales. That's a lot of money right for the taking. But unfortunately, the M3 production hit a devastating bottleneck after production started. To understand what happened, let's talk about M3's battery pack. In order to make M3 affordable, Tesla had to design a whole new platform and battery pack architecture. Tesla gets his battery cells from Panasonic and one of the main changes of the battery pack was to the battery cells. Tesla's Model S and X use 18650 cells, which stands for 18 millimeter diameter and 65 millimeter long. And so compared to the battery cells for the M3, they were designed by both Panasonic and Tesla and are called 2170, which stands for 21 millimeter diameter and 70 millimeter long. These larger cells are bundled into bricks of 31 cells with a total of 2,976 cells in the M3 battery pack. And it's the M3's battery pack that caused the bottleneck in the production of the M3. The 2170 power cells made by Panasonic are produced in Gigafactory 1 in Story County, Nevada. Panasonic has invested $3.9 billion in the Gigafactory and there is a lot at stake for Panasonic for the success of the M3. And on October 31st, Panasonic CEO Kazuhiro Tsugo confirmed that they know what caused the bottlenecks and that production should increase soon and added that parts of the battery pack manufacturing process have yet to be automated. He also said that the process for the M3 battery packs will soon be automated and then the number of vehicles to be produced will rise sharply. So this was a huge setback for Tesla and it's costing the company a lot of money. On November 21st, Bloomberg.com reported that Tesla is burning $480,000 every hour and at that rate, Tesla would run out of money by August 6, 2018. So Tesla needs to get the M3 production on track or they are in serious trouble. Tesla's initial goal was to produce 5,000 M3s per week by December. But in early November, after the bottleneck fiasco, they pushed their 5,000 car per week production rate to March 2018. I really, really hope Tesla achieves the 5,000 car per week production rate by March because ultimately, I hope Tesla continues to be a leader in driverless car technology and they have to survive this M3 blunder in order to continue to innovate. But I want to hear from you. Do you think Tesla will get the M3 production rate to its 5,000 car per week target by March 2018? Comment below. I hope you enjoyed your journey. If you did, please leave a like. And if you're interested in space exploration, robotics, and all things future, join the Neo Subscribe tribe and subscribe. I am Neil Scribe and this is the end of our journey.